All right, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Shopify meta fields inside of your store. So in order to use these, you're just going to have to make sure you have an OS 2.0 theme. So in this video, I'm going to be using the Dawn theme and this example, since this is the basic theme that comes on all newly installed stores. So if you're not already familiar, Shopify meta fields essentially allow you to add and or store information within your store to then be dynamically used later on. So basically, if you need a specific type of information to display in a template in your store, but then you need that info to be different on each individual page, you'd use a meta field. So some examples of this include things like size charts, part numbers, care instructions, release dates, etc. Things that you would want to show up on multiple product pages, but that might be unique to each individual product. So as an example, if we jump over here to this product here, we can see this t-shirt product here has a size chart section right here. And if we open it up, we can see that there is a t-shirt size chart right here. But if we jumped over to this hoodie product we can see that the same size chart section is here but if we open it up we can see that it shows a different size chart it shows this hoodie size chart instead while this shows the t-shirt size chart but it's the same exact section in the product template so that's where meta fields become beneficial before we get into the video a quick plug for my shopify apps if you're looking to run live raffles and giveaways on your store check out the pine raffle app which allows you to create a giveaway in under two minutes giveaways are a great way to add excitement to your store increase your average order value and increase conversions by providing additional incentive to purchase with the app, you can select any type of prize, such as a discount code, a free product, or a completely custom prize that you create. Or if you're looking to set up a complete wholesale program on your store, check out the Process Wholesale app, which allows you to offer discounted wholesale prices to customers that buy in bulk. Wholesale customers can apply for an account through a custom form. Once approved, they can shop for wholesale products either directly on the existing product pages or in a private wholesale area with a bulk order form and only logged in wholesale customers will be able to see the discounted prices. So if you're looking to run giveaways or set up a wholesale program, check out Pine Raffle and Process Wholesale by clicking the links in the description. So let's say we wanted to add care instructions to these apparel products. So if I were to try and do this normally without a meta field and I open up the customizer here, this is what would happen. So if we open this up, and I come to products and we open up our product template. In this case, I have an apparel template for these apparel products here. And if I were to come down under product information to add block and I were to add in a collapsible row and I could drag this right under the size chart. And let's say I were to put in care instructions and let's say the instructions were just machine wash cold and I were to click save. Now this would work well if we wanted these instructions on every product. Because now if we come back over here to these product pages, we can see on the t-shirt, the care instructions show machine wash cold. And then on the hoodie, if we refresh that, we can see the care instructions show machine wash cold. But the issue is, is that this is going to show up on every one of our product pages because this text is essentially hard coded into our product template. So instead we need to use a meta field instead of this text. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the store and we're going to come down here to settings and then we're going to click on custom data. And this is where we can take a look at all of our meta fields here. So you can see that there's meta fields for a lot of different things. Uh, the product meta fields are the most common, but there are meta fields that you can use for collections, customers, orders, pages, etc. And all you have to do is open one of these up. So we're going to open up the product meta fields here. And then we need to click on add a definition. So in this case, I will go ahead and call it care instructions. And you can see there are some suggested standard definitions as well. So you could insert a care guide. So instructions for taking care of a product or apparel. So this is one that you could also use. But in this case, I'm going to fix this typo first, but I'm gonna create a custom just to show you how to do that. So you can add it a description if you want. And you just need to select the type of content here. So this is essentially going to be the source of the content. So we have single line text, multi-line text. We have different references such as products, files, pages, etc. 
And in this case, what we're going to be using is just a single line of text. And then we can set in some different validations if we want as well. So like a minimum character count, maximum count, or a regular expression. If you want to specify a pattern, the values must match. But we're going to keep all of this by default for right now and then click on save. So once we've saved our meta field here, we need to close this out and then we need to actually go to our products and designate the meta field. So we're going to go to the t-shirt first and then we're going to scroll down to all of our meta fields here and we can see our meta fields are right here and we have the care instructions right here. So if we open this up, I can type in the instructions of machine wash cold and we can save this right here and I will go back and let's say we open up our other product. So the hoodie and we'll go down and do the same thing. So the care instructions, let's say these are just different. So machine wash warm and click save. And now that we've inserted our meta field information on the product pages, we need to actually reinsert this actual meta field into the theme. So we're gonna come back over here to the customizer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh really quickly. And now inside of this product template, instead of this row content being this text right here, we can get rid of this and we can choose to insert a dynamic source. So we're going to insert the single line text, which is the care instructions that we just created right here. So I'm going to insert that. And now if we open this up, we can see that the care instructions are once again showing up. So now I'm going to click save and we're going to come over here and refresh the product page. And now we can see that the care instructions are showing up for the t-shirt. And if we come over here to the hoodie and refresh that, we can see that the different set of care instructions are showing up for this hoodie. So meta fields are going to be really useful for whenever you're trying to set up these different templates for your product pages or other pages throughout your store, because you're going to be able to essentially have different information for each individual page like this without having to create like 50 different templates for your products, for example. So that's how you can utilize meta fields inside of your Shopify store. And there's a bunch of other meta fields that you can go ahead and implement as well. And you can also connect meta fields differently by connecting dynamic sources here as well. So you don't just have to insert it into the content. You could insert say like images in here if you wanted to, which is how we set up our size chart in one of my previous videos. So with that said, if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in another one.